Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Fury. If you're keeping count, then you've realized that the boss we're coming up to, boss number 10, is the last one before we're finally free. Oh, incredible! Amazing! What I just saw here? It was magical. And he was probably the toughest one in here. I could never have done this without you. Now, the final boss isn't free, but it is more of a victory lap compared to the edge. There's another twist woven into this, too. Not really a twist, but the voice will explain in a second. And for this one, we get a nice arctic biome. Ugh. Well, this is a warm welcome. So the name of the boss coming up is... The Bee. And now we're... Now that we're at the last one... What are you about to say, Guardians voice? There. That make me hate this place. Why did they let her join? How many were they prepared to sacrifice? Don't get me wrong, she's part of this. She's an overconfident, idealistic child who dreamed she could save the world. Let me be the last wave. I will stand when the rest have fallen. She's an amateur, short-sighted. Plain stupid, if you ask me. What a waste. He's being literal. About it being a kid. Uh, but each boss used to have a different name. In the final game, it's the chain, the strap, the line, uh, the hand, the song, the burst, the edge, and the beat is the one coming up. Before, it was the Law, the Nemesis, the Wise, the Father, the Wing, the Maze, the Challenger, and this one coming up was the Horn. I actually would have liked the Horn for the first boss, the first Jailer. Uh, the Chain. Because that's what he did. She's dangerous. If she was a pushover... She wouldn't be here. She's treacherous and she's fast. And there's something in there that is meant to stop you for good. The first guardian sounded the horn that alerted the other jailers that the rider was coming. Always movement going on. It's what helps to keep these uh, these static backgrounds so lively and cool looking. So, one last time, the jailer is the key. Kill her, and you will be free. This final trek feels a lot lonelier than it did before, even though the music is blaring and there's so much snow and wind animating everything, it's it does feel very isolated. But you reflect. You're not what I was expecting.
She's just a hockey kid with with a boombox strapped to her shoulders. Let's see once these start overlapping, if I can manage to get through them. Uh, it looks like right here is where that should start. A monster. Nope. Oh my god. How am I this early on every one? Because the gap is right Don't there in the middle. That is a fate worse than death. Oh, I may have to clutch this, huh? Uh, so we have purple orbs tracking us from the cannons around the room. And this. And this is the whole phase. Also, three-phase fight. Just gotta keep parrying these, so I'm more keeping my eyes on the you? peripheries. Why are you here? Why are you doing this? Now we get a different cannon pattern while we ch oh damn it. Chase him down. This one is not hard at all. Although it would help if I was shooting at oh god, the bullets. I wanted to be here. Where else would I be? Here is where I can make a difference. A lot of cool narrow dodges here. And then that. Oh, I'm gonna have to clutch again, huh? Okay. I am paying the price for my people's freedom, but it's worth it. Again, it's a little harder, but it's not anywhere near as hard as really any of the other late game bosses. And oops. All of my people out there, they're counting on <laughs> Shit. They are nice enough to start you here instead of the platforming bit leading up to this. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go forward. Making easy things look hard and hard things look easy. <laughs> I look at you and I don't understand. We're so alike. Oh, that was dumb. You are a monster. The lasers are not bad at all to dodge. Wish we could have gotten more direct control over that bit. Stop! You can't go out there. Don't you understand? If you are, world withers and dies. What the end? Look how slow and vulnerable and passive you she is. No! Oh, I know oh you can land this, and there's a unique animation for it. So I'm gonna keep gunning for it. Might have to knock her down first, we'll see. Or after, oops. Either that or we can do it after a parry. But she attacks so infrequently. Subverting our expectations for what a final boss in their desperation phase should do. Oh no, she was even, there we go. Just dunks them. Oh, who's super is that? Uh, Karens, Karens. In, uh, Street Fighter V. Please, hold my hand. This is it, my friend. It's been hard, I know. But she was the last. Finally, going through that door, it's everything we have been fighting for. You are not who you were when you first landed out there. We all have choices to make. We all have to decide what's worth fighting for.
So that's just him stating flat out what is supposed to be the thesis of the entire story. What's worth fighting for? And I think the game's exploration of that is... It falls a little flat, to be honest. But I do want to play with that question a little. Uh, by adding on that what's worth fighting for, as made apparent in this game, is an incomplete question. Because I think most, if not all of us, would fight against personal torture, or would fight for personal liberation. That's the scope of the question for our character, though. And for others, it was revenge, it was duty, or just to test their skills. But for us, it's just freedom. It's just personal freedom. It's not even for the voice who's helping us and who has a daughter. So I think what we and our character fight for isn't really interesting until you also ask, what is worth fighting against in the pursuit of the thing that you would fight for? And what we fought against included a child we didn't even show remorse about killing that kid and not even dignifying her final request to have her hand held in her dying moment so it's not just about what we would fight for but what we would fight who we would fight Makes me wish they would they had given that a little more emotional heft. Now as for the game, I think the the conceit of it is really cool, because the idea was the myth of Theseus, but replacing um Theseus with the Minotaur. Which would also make the voice dataless. Um because we are literally a blight on the land. We were... We were in uh, that prison because our character, the Rider, is an apocalyptic threat. The scale was being, as we see, very literal when he talked about us destroying his world. Now, we do have one more thing. Well, we have a few more things to see in the game. Uh, and we're going to head towards them right now. But while the credits roll, it's eventually going to dip to black. Then we'll have a little more control, a little more, a little more speed. And there appear to be some invisible walls I didn't know, uh, know about. That kind of... Try to... Ah, uh, there's one right there. They're trying to cut me off from going to see a certain hidden scene before the credits are done rolling. So we're going to enjoy this song, come back when we once again have control, and we're going to see one of the game's three endings. We saw one earlier, the secret one with the song.
so. First off, we're gonna follow the dirt road down here towards the coastline. So now you know. Maybe you think I'm insane, or maybe you understand. You were my only chance. I hoped it would change you. I think it did. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is what you are going to do. Now that we finally sort of met the voice's daughter and we've been prompted that we still have some kind of choice to make, let's go find a choice to make. And thankfully, we won't have to travel too far and we get to run there. At long last, we've unlocked the run. Uh, I'm going to save my... I'm going to copy my save file data real quick, just in case. So I did that in case I can't just hit continue after the choice we're about to make. So I don't have to go through all of that again. Acquiring Rider. Resuming flight plan.
Welcome back, Ryder. Let's see your report on your target planet. Uploading planet report. Results inconclusive. Proceed with manual confirmation. Confirm planet assimilation. So, do we cancel the invasion that'll destroy the whole planet and attack the mothership? Or do we launch the invasion? It's morally gray. Let's launch the invasion. Planet assimilation confirmed. Launching invasion protocol. Activating troops. Troops deployment in three, two, one. Assimilation. Pretty sure this is a remix of the main theme and it rules. <laughs> yeah, it's very sad though. To shreds, you say. I don't, we got a bunch of S's and an overall one? Whack. Anyway, that's going to lead to us unlocking a bunch of stuff. We all have choices to like make. the speedrun mode and the speedrunner, uh, yeah, the rankings, the leaderboards, and Furier difficulty. But what happens in the good ending, aka the true end? I guess we'll never know. Until next episode, Frieza defeated. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Uh, have a good one.